Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. I just want to say thank you guys so much for clicking on this video because this is something that I don't think that we talk about a lot here on the weight loss journey or whenever someone's on their wellness journey. So I really appreciate you clicking on this video. In today's video, I will share with you guys my results from week three of this 12 week transformation, which is also one year, three weeks of me being on my 100 pound weight loss journey. But first, before we do that, if you guys don't mind sticking around, I like to share with you guys um, just like kind of how the week went and like kind of where my mental and emotional health was. And then after we chat about that for a little bit, I'll talk to you guys about the results from this week. And I actually did lose weight, so I would love it if you would stick around for that. And then also at the end of the video, this is a shorter video, but at the end of the video, I'll share with you guys like three things that I found really helped me um, get through this week. So when I first started um, thinking about like, how do I tell you guys like exactly how this week went? I was thinking to myself, like, how do you tell a group of people that believe in you and your weight loss journey that you kind of had an off week? I was wondering like, how do you tell them that you created a 12 week challenge for yourself and for them, or during week three, you yourself didn't even stick to it? How do you tell them that Sometimes the to-do list is just way too long. That focusing on your full-time job that pays the bill is more time sensitive. How do you tell them that sometimes you prioritize the health of your patients over your own health? Well, I sat with it and I decided, girl, <laughs> you just tell them. You tell them because they deserve to know. They deserve to know that a healthy weight is only one aspect of wellness. They deserve to know that their mental and emotional health matters too. They deserve to know that you're just like them. And sometimes it's just much easier to focus on the well-being of others in comparison to focusing on your own. But they also deserve to know that working out is not the only form of self-care. They deserve to know other ways in which you did take care of yourself during week three. Let them know that you accepted your husband's invite for a sushi date. Share with them that you had a facial because this Florida sun combined with sweat has not been nice to your skin. They deserve to know that you finally got a repairman to come out and fix the dryer that's been broken for over a year. Share with them how you no longer have to use a suitcase to keep it shut. They deserve to know that you cleared all, like literally all of your administrative tasks outside of patient care last week. They deserve to know that you solidified all of the plans for your summer vacation. They deserve to know that your husband identified that the refrigerator is still under warranty and the water dispenser will be repaired this week, meaning that you will no longer have to be concerned about using money from the food budget just to buy water. They deserve to know that during week three, you had an hour long massage. They deserve to know that you're taking steps to creating more time and spacing your schedule to better serve them. They deserve to know that even though you only hit 10,000 steps one day last week and you only attempted to lift weights once, but just couldn't focus, that you still lost. Wait. Yes, guys, it's true. Even though I only hit my 10,000 steps one day last week and I only lifted for like five to 10 minutes because I just really wasn't feeling it, I still lost weight. Yes, let's talk about it. But first, let's do some quick body shots. So keep in mind, this is week three of my 12 week transformation. Let's see. <laughs> In a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. So, as you guys know, last week I weighed in at 231.8. 
I was a little shocked because I had a great week of working out, lifting, eating well, all the sorts, but it's okay. I think I was like more disappointed about being over the 230 mark. Like I thought I would never go back there, but I did. But it's okay, it happens. And I wanna share with you guys that even though I did a lot of self care this past week, I did not get a pedicure. So again, excuse me, here we are. But I wanna let you know that this week I weighed in at 228.2, yes. So that is a loss of 3.6 pounds. 3.6 pounds. You know, in all seriousness, I'm actually kind of happy that the week happened the way that it did because it allows me to share with you guys some of the things that fitness influencers do not share with you. Like no one talks about the fact that just because you started your weight loss journey, the world does not stop. No one talks about the fact that the mental load like does not go away, you know? You still have bills that need to be paid and you still have relationships that need to be fed and nurtured. The world doesn't stop just because you decide you're gonna start your journey. I would like to share with you guys a few tips that did help me get through this week because I had a lot of things on my mind. I wanna share with you guys, number one, I think it's helpful and beneficial if you can brain dump. You know, we try to keep everything up here and that does not work. Um, I know for me, sometimes it actually makes things worse and I get analysis paralysis, which basically means that you have so many things floating in your mind that you just do nothing. Like that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to any of you guys, but I do wanna share that if you can brain dump, then many times that will help. Number two, I wanna share with you guys that for me, I found that if I can prioritize, not what's most important as far as like a deadline goes, but what what thing or things could you do that would make you feel better as an individual? Like what would bring you the most peace, joy, all of those good things. And for me, those things last week included um, getting the dryer fixed because that had been bugging me for a while. Um, our refrigerator, the fact that um, my husband was able to call someone and get someone out here and realize that it was also under warranty. That saved us money financially. And also it took like that thought off of my mind of like having to use some of the food budget to buy bottled water. I know it sounds so crazy, but it was kind of like floating in my mind. And then I also had a ton of administrative things that I needed to get done at work. I love patient care. I hate all the admin stuff, but I was able to clear all of that last week. Like literally all of it. I did all of it. So that made me feel a lot better. And the fact that my face was starting to take a beating from this Florida sun combined with a lot of sweat from my workouts and I was able to go get a facial, that made me feel better. And lastly, I told you guys in the last video, my body felt so inflamed and the fact that I was able to go and get a massage and like now my body feels better it's moving and flowing the way that I'm used to like that made me feel a lot better too so after you do your brain dump prioritize what things in what order will make you feel better as an individual and then finally number three take action that can be something small or something large but take action and get back on your wellness journey do the things that make you feel good for me those things have been increasing my hydration, just drinking more water, um, also getting back to doing 10,000 steps a day, and then lastly, getting back to my meal preps. Those things have helped me remember like why I started and also focusing on the fact that I'm important too and that I deserve to hit the goals that I said I wanted to hit. I hope that this video has served as a reminder to you guys that your mental and emotional health is just as important as your physical health. I hope that this has served as a reminder that sometimes the weight that we're carrying can just be the mental overload that we're carrying. Remember, as women in particular, that stress, our hormones, cortisol, it all plays a major role in our weight loss journey. Remember to take care of yourself. Remember to take a step back and realize that just because you're feeling overwhelmed sometimes, it doesn't make you different. There's a lot of us out here that are not perfect, myself included. And sometimes, unfortunately, I have to shift focus. Even though I'm on this weight loss journey, I have to shift focus to things that are more important at that time. I hope that by me sharing my story with you guys and my experience in week three of this 12 week transformation that helps you guys feel a little bit more human. I'm human too. My plan going forward is to continue on this 12 week transformation. So, I mean, at the end of the day, how awesome would it be if there's a whole week where you can take off and you still hit your goals in the middle of your 12 week transformation? But yeah, 
please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!